Hi, I'm Rachel from Just Another Button Company. I'm coming here today to tell you a little bit about button buddies. Um, button buddies are tiny pin cushions that we make that have um, button features. For example, this one has a button face and it's made out of a felted wool ball and it has a hand tied button on the bottom of it for feet. So it can sit on your workspace and serve as a decorative pin cushion or a functional pin cushion or both. So um, these two cute little button buddies were featured projects from Button Lovers Club Words with Buttons, the U box, E-W-E. -E. Um, these face buttons were part of the button collection. So I'm gonna show you how we take those face buttons and turn them into a button buddy. So here you'll see that I have the two face buttons. Now this button right here is exclusive to the Button Lovers Club U box. So if you would like to have this button, make sure you check our limited edition section on our website um, for any leftover U boxes that we might have. Um, I'm also gonna use a small plain um, black button for the bottom of this um, button buddy and then a one and a half centimeter felt ball. Uh, for the mama sheep, I'm gonna use this dolly face and the dolly button is something you can always get on our website, just search dolly. And she's gonna need a larger bottom because she's made from a larger felt ball. So again, just hand dyed black buttons, handmade buttons and felted wool balls. You can actually find a bundle on our website of this pin pack that we featured in the Button Buddies. Um, there's a bundle with the pin pack and these two sizes of white felt balls so that you can make um, these two Button Buddies. So let's show you how to put it together. So I'm gonna start by attaching the feet, this is what we call the feet, to the bottom of the ball and if you turn your ball around and you notice that it's not completely round, you can roll it on the table under your hand to kind of even it out, make it a little rounder, or you can pick the flattest spot and choose to sew your button to that spot. Now, when you put your button onto the ball, you're gonna want the flat part of the button to sit against the table. So put the curved side against your felt ball and you can even push it against the ball to flatten out a nice section right there so that it'll sit really tight on the felt ball. And then you're gonna take a needle and thread, and this is a double strand that I've knotted at the end. And in the middle of that flat section, I'm going to take a pretty deep stitch, and I'm gonna put it wider then my buttonholes so that I have a nice firm grip on the ball. If you take too small a stitch, then your ball is going to wobble around on top of the button when you're done. So take a stitch and then sew back between your threads to knot it. And then take another stitch in that same area and sew through your loop to secure it. Now it's really nice and secure on the felt ball. So I'm gonna sew through the buttonhole, making sure that the curved side is gonna end up against my felt ball. And then I'm gonna sew through the other hole. And then I'm gonna take another really wide stitch. So your stitches should always be wider than your buttonholes. That just makes sure that the button is gonna be nice and secure and not wobble. Okay, so now before I pull it all the way tight, I'm going to sew through the buttonholes again. So up and down. And then I've got this extra loop on top and I'm going to pull on the loop to pull that first stitch tight. And then once my first stitch is tight, I'm gonna grab my needle and pull the second stitch tight. And then I can take one more stitch, remember to make it a, a wide stitch, underneath the button, 
through a big section of the, the felt ball and then pull it tight and then you can feel that your button is really snug on there. If you push on it, it's not going to wobble really easily to one side or the other. And then I'm going to take the rest of my thread and I'm going to wrap it around a few times. And as I push down with my finger, I'm going to sew underneath the button through several layers of felt and I'm going to take my needle and go through my loop to pull it tight. And now I'm sure that my button is really nice and snug on there. When I set it down, it's not going to wobble to one side or the other. So now I can take my scissors and cut the rest of my thread. And there I have my button is sitting, or my felt wool ball is sitting on its feet. So the next step is to add the face. So I'm going to pick the spot that I feel like the face looks the best. I like it at that angle. So I'm gonna push it there just to flatten out a spot so I'll be able to easily tell where to anchor my thread. And you can see the buttonholes are drilled in the white section of the sheep face. So I'm gonna use white thread to attach it. So I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm going to secure my thread to the felted wool ball. And then I'm going to sew up through the button and down. and take a really wide stitch and then I'm going to sew up and down again. Be careful not to pass your needle through the threads that are already there Otherwise, you might create a knot that you didn't intend. Okay, now I have this extra loop on top that I can pull on to pull the button snug against the felted wool ball. Okay, now it's snug, I can pull on my needle to tighten the second loop. And when that's snug, I check it and make sure it feels good and snug. And I take another stitch into the ball. All right, that's really well attached. So I'm gonna wrap my thread And sew through one more time. And then sew through my loop. And trim the excess thread. Okay, there you have. It's a simple way to make a cute little button buddy pin cushion that you can keep beside your sewing table and um, look at and admire. So it's also, um, a perfect way to use a set of our pin minis and we will be featuring um, our whole collection of button buddies on our blog this week and you will see that we have just created them as PDF pattern downloads and there is a whole collection of different animals um, some of them have buttons for faces like the sheep does and some of them have buttons for features like this open mouth beak here this is a button um, and it ha may have beads for eyes. There's also some that have um, pieces of felt or felted wool on them to create the other features. So be sure to look for the whole collection on our blog. Thanks for joining me.